Hello everybody, it's Richard Sispay's back here Spirit, and I'm here to read you guys a story. Um, this is story is from the Scary Stories Tom of Darkest from the book, and this the story is called Sounds. And um, what I'm gonna do is gonna be doing some regular um telekinesis with the side wheel. It's a big old piece of foil. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um move the foil. I'm going to attract it with my chi energy and intention, my telekinesis. What's gonna happen is that the foil is going to be attracting when my right hand comes up, it's gonna be moving to the right. My left hand comes up, it's going to be moving to the left, like that, okay? So it's going to be following the right and the left, okay? So keep an eye on that. And sometimes we'll get to spin around circles, but we'll see. And so I'm going to be controlling this part that's facing me, the front part facing me, okay? So not the back part facing you, the front part facing me. So we'll get started right here. Sounds. The house was near a beach. It was a big old place where no one had lived for years. From time to time, someone would force open a window or a door and spend the night there, but never longer. Three fishermen caught in a storm took shelter there. One night, with some dry wood they found inside, they made a fire in the fireplace. They laid down on the floor and tried to get some sleep, but none of them slept that night. They heard footsteps up the stairs. It sounded like there were several people moving back and forth, back and forth. One of, one of the fishermen yelled out, who's there? The footsteps stopped. Then they heard a scream. The scream turned into a groan and then died out. Blood started to begin to drip from the ceiling of the room where the fishermen huddled. A small pool, red pool, formed on the floor and soaked into the wood. A door upstairs crashed shut, and again the woman began to scream, scream, No, not me, she cried. It sounded as if she, as if uh, there was a man chasing after her. I'll get you. She had high heels that tapped wildly down the, down the hall. Then silence. There wasn't a sound until a man who shouted began to laugh. Long peals of horrible laughter filled the house. It went on and on until a fisherman thought they would go mad. When finally it stopped, the fisherman heard some one coming down the stairs, dragging something very heavy on every step. It hurt. They heard it coming through the hall and out the door. The door opened and slammed shut again. Silence. Let's see if I get this. Suddenly, a flash of light filled the house with a green blaze. A ghastly face started stared at, at the fisherman from the hallway. Then, a crash of thunder, terrified, they ran into the storm. So, there it is, guys. I wasn't able to get it to uh, do um, a full circle. I was having some luck doing it uh, before. But I guess that my intention is not letting me do that. But at least I'm getting some good wide rotations from the left and to the right and to the right and to the left and all that. So that's really good. Good wide left and right rotations. So that's the story right there. Sounds. The scary story is kind of dark. And uh, that's the book. So there you go, guys. I'll probably add a bonus clip into this near the end so you can see me do like a, a 1080. Uh, at the beginning of the story. So take care. God bless.